Oh man, this place needs to be cleaned out. There's a dusty note on the bed. Be back later. Going out for a swim. Ted. Oh, he's speaking of, like, ice baths. That's the thing that they do in a... Where's that part of the world? The Netherlands? I think... And that's, like, Norway, I think, area. Is, uh... They do ice baths, but it's... It's not that bad, I think, once you get too used to it, though. How much SP do I have? Four SP. Still saving that for when I get the new partner. Oh, that by me snore over here. Oh, it is. I can't you leave him in there? I can't. What's wrong, sir? Is someone trapped? Hmm? Trap? What are you? Wait, wait, you guys, you're guild heroes, yeah? I can't believe it. Loafing and sidekicks in my house. Well, we're not really in your house, we're just outside. <laughs> hey, Loaf's leading our crew, but we're not his sidekicks. Are we? Uh, I m mean, yes, technically. Oh, oh, this is the best day of my life. I know all about you. I know you're from the farmlands, Lint. And you, Yagi, are a famous warrior from Lama Village. Loaf, you saved... Her loaf saved you from entrapment? That's one of those nefarious. Oh, okay, okay, we get it, mister. How do you know all this stuff about us? Oh, I host the podcast called Yelp for Dios. You've heard of it, yeah? <laughs> really? I need to work on my self-promotion. Yeah, but I do too. <laughs> when I make games, that's going to be the real important part. Because you got to get it, find a way to get out there. Otherwise, <laughs> people aren't going to play it. I encourage my listeners to ask heroes to help them with their problems and then share their stories about heroic deeds. Could you, you help me? Uh, maybe. What's the problem? Lately, I've decided to branch out to toy photography. It's when you take pictures of fi your figurines in interesting places and make them look alive. Anyways, I thought it'd be cool to take care. Oh, so it's not an actual person he's worried about. Okay. Anyways, I thought it would be cool to take my ultra-rare limited edition Kalama figure figuring into Misty Woods for a photo shoot. I didn't remember seeing one. Big mistake, I tripped over a snow troll and woke it up. It nearly chased me all the way home. Could you find my figure for me? It's very rare. Only a hundred were ever made. Hang on a sec. You want us to go back into those creepy woods to find the toy? Nye, nye. Is, is it like no? I want to figure out how this sounds. Sounds like it says Niel. I don't know if that's right though. Niel, Niel. Not the toy, a figurine. I know it's a big ask, yeah. I would only ask the bravest heroes to help me. Oh. Best to lodge an official chit at the Savior's Guild then. He means us, Lint. We're the bravest heroes. We are? Oh, right. Ah, thank you so much. This is so cool. Real Giddle Hero is doing a quest for me. Wait until my hands... My hands? Wait until my fans hear about this. Alright, I guess that's another quest we can do. Ah, oh, it's the tour bus. This thing used to be in the original... Or in the demo for the game. I think it was green before. Uh... Yeah, the uh, thing used to be green before in the, in the demo, but they changed it to make it a... A haunted <laughs> school bus. Or not a school bus, but a tour bus. I wonder if there's a way I can read that. Mm, I wonder what the, this is a way to It looks like haunted at the end. But this looks like frosty flats haunted. Well, this w would take you to frosty flats, I think, so. Maybe that's what it says. Okay, let's see what these... Can I talk to these guys? Uh, oh wait, isn't this the person who, who, like, we had to give a bunch of food in the beginning of the game? Or in the forest roots? Uh, I don't think this is much of a tour so far. It's so cold, is the heating broken? You guys are outside. I think that's just the weather, exactly. <laughs> Snookums, can I get you an extra blanket? And the tour bus, so tacky. Silver the top, screaming to the whole world, Taurus here. But we are Taurus, my precious flower. We are not. 
Taurus wore socks and sandals and never tuck it in their shirts properly. We are cultural ambassadors. This tour is amazing. Snoop has quite the repertoire of tales to tell. I hope this town has better food than just snow cones and ice lollies. They do have a whole snow gizboard. Mmm, frosted flakes, pickled snow, cold cuts, ice buns, frozen snowgurt. My favorite. Some good, uh, s uh, puns there. I think I've explored the majority of the town. She could probably go talk to the guy with the snow piles. Oh. Ah, hello again. You decided to take the tour after all. Wait, Snoop was the guy who started off? I thought it was Snore. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize you wanted the tour. We did say no beforehand, so... Do you take requests? We're particularly interested in stories about stones, gems, or ancient powers? Stones and gems, you say? Oh yeah, I've got just authority for you. Before you stand, the bleak and imposing gates to the Coldstock Cottage, the Labyrinthian mansion was built by the eccentric and devastating new wealthy Clayton Coldstock and is still the home of his descendants today. On his deathbed, deathbed, Clayton Coldstock proclaimed he had laid a terrible curse upon the house intended to protect his precious golden gem. Should a thief ever come into the house, a blizzard would descend, trapping everyone inside. So somebody should try to steal- oh, Jester tried to steal it then. Or no, Io tried to steal it, I think. Uh-oh, poor Io. <laughs> Once trapped, the curse would unleash spirits and devils to attack all intruders, leaving only those who bear the Coldstock name unharmed. <laughs> and today, all of days, there's a blizzard raging, barring the path to all who enter or leave the cottage. Spooky, ah? Yeah? Great. Looks like we all know where to go. Yeah. You can't go in. Didn't you just hear what I said about the blizzard? Also, Cecile Colstock doesn't like it if we take visitors onto the grounds. If they're trapped inside a curse, they need help, right? Devils and ghosts won't know you're there to help. Go if you must, but I'll stay outside where it's safe. Sorry if my Swedish accent is ass. Yeah, I realize it is. Maybe I should just speak regularly. Uh, did we get them all? With the snow pass? Was the snow clear from the paths? I should get more visitors to my cozy inn. Oh, I guess I did. Didn't talk to these ladies. Hello there. Can I interest you in some snowshoes? Actually, we were wondering what you could tell us about the Coldstock Cottage. Oh, well, lately Cornelius Coldstock has been pouring money into mountainizing it, but no matter what it dries, it stays cold, drafting creaky. Ugh, uh, I don't know if I should keep doing the Swedish accent, it's really bad. Maybe I'll just not do it. <laughs> Some people say Clayton built it in that way, with floors that grow, and if you don't know where to stop. But why would someone make a hole? But why would someone make a house cold and drafty? Well, during summertime I can understand that, but during wintertime, that doesn't make sense. All those hidden rooms and passages, old Clayton probably left a window open and no one can find it to close it. I'm doing this. Swoosh action again. <laughs> it's just, when I see the characters, I feel like I have to do it. Yes. What's she got to say? Hi. Do you know anything about the family who lives in the cottage? Their girl, Chloe, such a strange child, always asking questions. Want to know all about the feathers I used to make? Hats, what kind of birds they come from? A child wanting to learn things, isn't that strange? Well, what kind of feathers do you use? Oh no, not you too. I guess I only got the one dialogue. Snowford, that's actually a good name there. I gotta check around for uh, any more snow piles. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, I guess that's it. Finish your snow. Ho ho. Looks like you folks have been snuggling show. Or <laughs> snuggling snow. Oh my god, my dyslexia. <laughs> ho ho. Looks like you folks have been shoveling snow. My hands are freezing. Oh, poor Lint. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, your timing is perfect. I just finished making the meal. I promise you. Enjoy. 
golden casserole, 40 HP. Let's get rid of that beaver thing. Wow, that smells delicious. Yeah, it's a secret family recipe. You won't find that meal anywhere else. Well, now that I got that done, let's go back, see if we can find that figurine. I also wonder when I'm gonna get the other skins. Hopefully I get one in this chapter. Because apparently there's four different color slots. Well, three different, besides the main one. Oops. I think I'll just skip these fights for you guys. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. I guess I'll meet back with that guy. Here you go, fella. Oh, you're back. How did your quest go? It was pretty hard to find, but uh, it wasn't that hard, Yaki. But I think we found your thing, Mr. Snore. That's it. Oh, thank you so much, all of you. Do you know something? There are no sidekicks here. You're all heroes. Maybe one day you all have your own figures. Oh, man. I think I look awesome as an action figure. Yeah, so do I, Yagi. Here, take this. I think you might get thinking about your design of your figurine. Oh, sweet. <laughs> well, speaking about it. Now I got one. Now if you excuse me, I need to get help writing my notes for the next episode of Yelp for Heroes. This is gonna be so good. Gonna actually be a decent one this time. Oh yeah, I like that much better. It actually changes his skin color. Cause I don't think the... Green one changes? It's like a very slight color change. He's like... A grayish, like green, grayish brown. But I do like this one a lot more. Also, this one doesn't bug out. It, it must be that green one is kind of buggy. I do like this skin color. Or this uh, palette for Yagi. Okay, well, I guess we'll go in. I don't. Back. I guess we'll go in because I don't know if there's anything else here. Oh, why can't I hit this? Oh, <laughs> just hitting it wrong, I guess. There's a salamander somewhere. Right there. <laughs> not, not in a very secretive spot, but not all of them are. I like the spooky tones that this music has. I assume it'll get spookier the closer we get up to the cottage. Oh, oh somebody's in the family guy death position, I think. Or similar position. Uh, what's that sound? <laughs> I think it's trying to collect something. There's someone here! Is she... Uh, hey, <laughs> should I... Reset the game? No, I don't want to reset the game. It's just kind of annoying that the sound is going on. Sorry, guys. Is she... She's freezing! Yes, okay, okay, good idea. We need to go get her to the shelter and so that we... Oh. So we can stop hearing the sound. It's still making this out. Oh my god. Oh no, I have to take... Oh my god, did I glitch something? This is very annoying to hear. Uh, if the sound keeps happening, I'm just gonna... Here, I'm gonna return to the main menu. Ugh. Oh, one interesting thing. So I had to reset real quick. It knows that I... I've unlocked the color for Yagi, but it won't let me select it. That's a weird bug. I don't know if the guys who made this game want to fix that, but that's a, another weird bug in this game. That only happens if you go back to the main menu and then you leave, but don't save. Oh, I decided to talk to this guy because I think he had something. Something wrong, Mr. Tour Guy, dude? 
Oh, hello. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Please enjoy your visit. Okay, if you're sure, yeah. it's just you look a little, uh, what's the word, Lint? Perturbed? You know, this is the exact word I was thinking of, too. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, it's not a big matter. I just misplaced the tortoise. I think she might have uh, wandered away from the group somewhere in Misty Woods. I know she's missing because she left her gold bear on the tortoise bus. You've lost a tortoise in the Misty Woods? Isn't that kind of worrying? Oh no, that poor woman. The woods are the worst place to be lost. I guess he would say that. Oh no. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually. I don't mean to be disrespectful, Mr. Tort Guide, but should you not be taking this a little bit uh, more uh, seriously? Ah, uh, well, if we Tort Guides worried about every tortoise we misplaced, <laughs> we'd be too stressed to do our jobs, you see, huh? I guess so. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good statement, though. So perhaps we should keep an eye out for this gal. Hopefully nothing bad has happened to her. I mean, it is their own person's responsibility. He doesn't have to be responsible for everyone. Do you remember what she looks like? Hmm. Well, she had two legs. What was it for? One head, though. I'm sure of that. That's all I can remember. Uh, thanks. That narrows it down. No problem. But I really wouldn't worry. I'm sure she'll turn up soon. And besides, she paid for the door in advance. Okay. Let's go do this thing again. Hopefully <laughs> we don't hear that glitchy sound again. Gotta get the salamander. Yeah, baby, 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 we know she's dying. Okay. A lot of snowmen here. Or they can't break them, because they can't do anything in this animation. Something you can dig there. Lint can still dig. What's the purpose of that? Look, they're gonna have a lint thing. It should be something there, maybe. Even if it's one clover. Uh, what would her voice be? I don't know if she's supposed to be part of the Swedish people or something else. Hmm. I could try to make her sound like uh, like British, like Sherlock Holmes, because she looks like she's a detective. Ah, uh, I guess I didn't make it to the village then. Oh, thank the bird's son, you're alive. I mean, uh, of course you're alive. We rescued you from mortal peril. Freeze right there. Snow puns are banned until I've warmed to you. I think that's a better action. I think it's more Scottish, but I think I can pull that off better than I can do British. Are, are you okay? Why did you need to get to town so badly anyway? I was trying to get help. We woke up today, he's trapped in a blizzard, and my family won't stop arguing about what to do about it. So I went to get help, but wait, who are you anyway? I'm Lint. This is Yagi Lo and Loaf. Is the one who carried you back here. I'm Chloe. Oh, it's such a pretty name. Uh, nice to meet you. <clears throat> They're always arguing about something. Today it's what to do about the blizzard. Who's to blame for the blizzard? Hmm. This is just like the story I told guy Dolsa. The tour guides all tell ta tall tales. What? You mean your legend about Clayton's curse? Of course, the curse says the thieves are after a gold stock treasure. A storm will rise up to trap them in the house. I know, I said Sherlock Holmes, but, you know, but he's not Scottish or whatever, but I don't know. He's, I feel like this accent. I could probably pull off better than that British accent. Wait, are you thieves? Huh? Of course we're not thieves, we're heroes. You did just save me. Alright, consider yourselves under probation. That means the thief is still in the house. But where? And what were they trying to steal? Actually, we've been tracking a gang of troublemakers who've been stealing fragments of powerful crystals called the Sunstone. The old Clayton legend says he was protecting a trove of valuable treasure with his favorite was a golden gem. That could be it. If there's peace here, Jester and his friends are probably here too. Well, the only way to break the curse is for a cold stock to take back what was stolen. That sounds like a case for the great Glo Chloe Coldstock, top investigator. Let's ask my folk. 
folks. They might know something we don't. I want to break your family stuff, Chloe. I like your design. It's pretty cute. I spotted some pesky tourists creeping in the front yard. From now on, I'll lock sections of the cottage in case they find a way in. Cecil. Ah, that's grandma, all right. Thankfully, she has a habit of losing her keys all over the place. Yeah, I see it up there, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. Maybe her ability will let me do it. What the heck? Oh, wait, does she have the ability to set stuff on fire? I thought Jester was going to do that. Hmm. Or do I have to do some platforming? Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't see the obvious platforming. Vestibule key. Now that's a word, vestibule. I think it's supposed to... Uh, for a specific part in the house, I think? I'm not sure. Ooh, look at, look at this art, man. I like the house, though. It's got, like, a sleek modernity to it. Also, there's a save point here. How, how is this in here? I'm guessing this one's hers. Oh, that's right. We get skins for uh, our palettes for Chester as well. Ooh, spooky painting. <laughs> a little demon. Or an imp demon. Imp, yeah. Emily Doll. Um, also, that's... Or he's weak to... Mechanic. Mech, I think is the type. Okay, um... Let's go for giant ring. What's Chloe got? Exposition, Icy Stare. Now this is where having descriptions for these things would be great. Does no damage, guess I'll do this. <laughs> She's saying blah blah blah, that's funny. Oh, they have two moves, that's cool. I oh, probably should have chosen a different move because they resist uh, sword attacks. Oh, you can put an enemy to board status. That's pretty cool. So far, she actually has pretty decent moves. Yagi didn't have really that great moves. Oh, I should have used Fish Hammer. Oh, you know what? Since uh, Chloe's in our team now, I can start leveling her up. What did we get? Turkey casserole. Uh, let's start with the turkey casserole and I'll eat one of the other ones we got. Okay, so if I see anything ghostly, I know that's going to be an enemy waiting to attack. So let's see what this does. Forcibly explains to the enemies exactly why their aggression is ill-advised and tuned to failure. Sometimes sending them into a bored stupor. Okay. Also, this one can also inflict, uh, bored, but this one has a higher chance. Chloe approaches the enemy and skewers it with the withering stare, practiced to perfection on her younger brother. In truth, it's a little tedious. Sarcasm. Chloe compliments all foes on their wisdom attacking a party of heroes out to save the world. Great idea. Not... <laughs> Some don't take well to sarcasm. Red herring. Few blades are as sharp as Chloe's tongue. She berates all enemies for their stupidity, occasionally stunning the more sensitive ones. Okay. I might change exposition to something. Maybe that one, because it... Well, these two both do uh, damage to everybody. Rude awakening. 
Chloe thinks everyone is dumber than she is, and is often often she's right. She likes to rub it in by mocking the particularly slow-witted, infuriating them. Okay, so that guarantees that status. With hindsight, monsters wouldn't pester Chloe, but they never learn, so they get brought in. But there's no pro poke without the fire, after all. Okay, so this is just the more offensive option, I guess. Alibi. Chloe never let will never likely solve the mystery of where this giant fountain pen comes from. It's still funny to see the funny side, right? Okay. So this is psychic damage. This does two ice damage to everybody. She rarely admits it, but sometimes Chloe gets homesick. When on a case, she's when on a case. So she brings frosty flat snow to her, occasionally snowing in enemies. And folks disappearing are often at the center of good mysteries. Chloe likes to surprise her doubters by vanishing and then surprise. Counter argument. Chloe believes that the pen is mightier than the sword, especially when that pen is raining. Pens rain down from the sky, kneeling the foes like angry mosquitoes. Elementary, of course she would. That'd be her final move. Uh, objection, your honor. These foes have no grounds to cost the party. We have a move to sense for bludgeoning by giant cavalry. Sinister plot. Scales of justice represent the balance between truth and fairness, and in truth, Chloe thinks it's fair to drop them on someone's head. It's nothing Chloe loves more than solving a cold case. A close second, however, is bringing foes into the cold with a biting snowstorm. Chilling. Uh, if I look at her typing, I'm guessing it's psych, mind, and frost? Yeah. Can unlock alibi. Can't get breakthrough just yet. I think I'll wait to get breakthrough. Nope, can't go in there yet. Can I push this? It looks like it was pushed over. Oh, you hit it. <laughs> the camera change there was a little bit jarring. It should probably lerp a little bit better. Well, that's a lot of enemies. Thankfully I didn't get first, Thankfully I didn't get first strike. Um, I think for this, I'm going to do roast. That way I don't take too much damage. Um, alibi? Forget what alibi does. These guys are really strong. Um, let's go for play more. Maybe I'll make uh, one of the imps the board. I guess we'll do this one. Fortunately, I have to attack the front one. are gone at least. Maybe she can um Okay, I think we got it here. I <laughs> like how it turns into a regular doll afterwards. Oh, three damage. I guess they are weak to ice, right? Uh, let's get a will up, I guess. 
I'll skip doing back pack slot right now because there's not that many interesting boons that I'm seeing. Oh, uh, oh, that's just a popsicle. I guess I'll eat the other one I have. Even though I did just level up, but just to get stuff out of there. Oh, I guess this popsicle stay in there then. What's in here? Anti-ghost. Oh, I guess this is where... Yeah, it makes sense. Possession status would occur here a lot more. Um... Anything I would get rid of that for? Okay. Oops. <laughs> Alright, now that we did that side questing, I guess we could talk to her family 